Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing all of your questions that I've gotten from you over the last 12 months relating to my septa rhinoplasty vlogs. So today I'm going to be trying to answer all your questions as good as I possibly can. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Take me on a day, I deserve a pay and don't forget So my first question is from Katerina Beauty Blog. She asks who was your surgeon? Now my surgeon was called Dr. Chuan Pham. He specializes in rhinoplasties and other plastic surgery and he is based in Perth, Western Australia. I actually had my surgery done at Royal Perth Hospital. So he specially came over from his private clinic to do the surgery on my nose at the time. So it's Dr. Chuan Pham. He was my main surgeon. And I also had two other registrars and all of them were extremely nice, helpful, answered all my questions and did a very good job in the end. Next question is from Lily Olson. Her question was, Hi, my name is Lily. I'm 15 years old. I'm really wondering if it hurts after the surgery and if you actually can breathe through your nose. I'm getting a nose job pretty soon and I'm worried. Okay, Lily, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. Does it hurt? Now, I wouldn't say that having rhinoplasty hurts extremely bad. I think after the surgery, it's more uncomfortable and it feels, if you've ever had a sinus infection before, it feels identical to that, but about uh, 10 times worse. So it's basically feels like you've got a really bad sinus infection. All your nose passages and airways are pretty much blocked and you've also got uh, splints and all different materials shoved up your nose so it's not a very pleasant feeling but after about a week and a half, two weeks they remove uh, a lot of that stuff so you can breathe a lot easier and then once that happens it's a lot better. So on the basis of whether it hurts, it hurts a little bit. It hurts when uh, the surgeon takes the cast off your nose because when you come out of surgery, you come with a little nose brace uh, on the bridge of your nose to keep it sort of, um, to keep it straight. So if you lay on it, you don't twist it or stuff like that. But when that comes off, yeah, it hurts a little bit, but up until then, it's a little bit painful, but not overly. It's just a little bit, yeah, quite uncomfortable. So thank you, Lily. Thank you for that question. My next question is from Brooklyn Bauman. I'm getting a nose job and I have never had surgery before. I am so scared. I'm one of those people who cries even when they get a blood test. Is it scary? What's it like under anesthesia? Is it painful or hard to go through? Well, uh, is it scary? The operation itself, is, is kind of scary because you, you're you told by your surgeon before all the details of what they're gonna do. And when they do the operation, they're working very close to the brain, the skull, all the important places around your head. So when they tell you that it's for the first time, it's it's a bit of a shock and yeah, it is quite scary, but there are a few risks with any operation, but uh, having rhinoplasty, because like I said, it's very close to your head, the risk factor goes up a bit, but yeah, I admit it is a bit scary. Uh, the most scariest part I think for me was just before going into surgery, that moment when you wheeled into the operating theatre, or even just before then, and you're on your own. That's that's the most confronting, sort of frightening thing about the entire process. But apart from that, uh, it's it's not too bad to be honest with you. Uh, what's it like under anesthesia? Well, the great thing about being under anesthesia is you're completely out. You're asleep, you can't feel anything, you can't remember what's going on. It's the best. So the last thing I remember when I went under anesthesia was my surgeon or the anesthesiologist saying to me, count back from 10, that's when they've got the mask on you. So you count back from 10 and I remember getting to about four, I think, was the last number I got to and then I was completely out and the next thing I remember was waking up in the recovery room. So. Being under anesthesia is not too bad because you don't remember anything and you don't know what's going on, which is a good thing. <laughs> and is it painful or hard to go through? Like I said with Lily, it's more uncomfortable than painful. So, and it only lasts for about a week and a half and then it's a lot better. A lot better, I can promise you that. 
Team Bieber 05, are you going to get more surgery? I think you look beautiful. Oh, that's very nice, Team Bieber, thank you. Am I going to get more surgery? No, hopefully I don't, hopefully I won't be getting any more surgery. The funniest comment was I got a, a comment from a boy and <laughs> And he suggested me getting a chin implant uh, because I obviously showed my side profile and as you can see uh, My chin is not my best asset. I don't have much of one, but that's cool I'm happy with that. The funniest thing was is my surgeon said the exact same thing and asked me the same question Would you consider getting a chin implant at the moment? I don't really I don't want a chin implant. I think any unnecessary operations are not my number one to do thing at the moment so maybe in the future I'll decide to do that but not right now I don't think it's a necessity so no hopefully fingers crossed I won't be having any more surgery for a very very long time okay next one is oh and the last question I have for today is from Neil Vitale uh, he says great video Taylor I'm also hoping to get surgery next month to help with chronic nasal congestion and sinus issues I'm a bit worried that it will be difficult to concentrate think and do daily work during the healing however was this something you experienced and if so oh, how did you cope well concentration during healing well for the for the first week after your surgery uh, each individual is obviously different but for my case I was on a lot of uh, medications so a lot of pain medications antibiotics all different things so <laughs> for the first week I was pretty out of it uh, I was extremely tired but the thing was with the medications I was taking was I was it was causing me insomnia and I was also extremely hungry because I later found out that one of the medications I was on was a or contained a steroid so no wonder I was hungry all the time I was eating everything I could possibly get my hands on <laughs> so be prepared for that <laughs> be prepared to empty your pantry <laughs> after you have a rhinoplasty but uh, concentration I think for the first week your concentration goes out the door all you're thinking about is getting some sleep if you can and I suggest if you're a person who works or is at uni or school or something like that uh, I recommend maybe a week or two off because that way you can just relax and recuperate and just forget about everything in the world but uh, getting better so that's my tip take a week off have a little holiday at home is my suggestion <laughs> I hope I've answered all your questions okay today I uh, thank you very much for sending in your questions I really appreciate it and all your lovely comments they've made my day so thank you very much once again thanks for watching my videos and that's all for me I'm off to the shop so have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year and I hope to talk to you soon okay